الشيطان جزاه الله خير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Brothers and sisters والله I am so proud so privileged and honored to be in a beautiful gathering like this gathering because this type of gathering is a form of jihad that your enemies hate your enemies hate people like yourself born in western countries so far apart from Jerusalem so far apart from Gaza but you decided in a night like this night together in a place like this place to remember your brothers and sisters in Palestine and to say that we will never ever give an inch away from this land. Wallahi, I am so proud because this is a form of jihad and this hurts your enemy more than a bullet hurts them. When they know young men like yourself, when they know young brothers and sisters like yourself, who are so concerned about a matter they thought they made you forget it but they are wrong because as long as we live and as long as we breathe air Palestine will never ever be forgotten and this is the message that we send clearly to the Zionist Israeli regime no matter where we are even if we are at the other side of the world in Australia or the other side of anywhere Palestine will never ever be taken away from our hearts because Palestine is in our hearts. This Ummah is in our hearts. And Wallahi, my brothers, I do say it. You remembering Palestine, you gathering for Palestine, you thinking of Palestine, you thinking of the Palestinian people. Wallahi, this hurts your enemy more than a grenade, more than a rocket, more than a bullet because this is their main target. They want you to forget it. They want you to be disattached from it. They want you to be away from it. But this night and this gathering sends a very clear message to them. This will never ever happen. This would never ever happen. Not to us. Because we are a strong ummah. We are the ummah of Muhammad. We are the ummah of Omar. We are the ummah of Salah al-Din Ayyubi. My brothers and my sisters, we are sad, we are grieved, we are very upset to see what's happening to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. And that's not only happening this week, by the way. This aggression, this oppression, this injustice, this tyranny is been taking place for over half a century. It's not now. We are just aware of it now. And we are thinking of it now. But this aggression, this oppression, this injustice, this killing, this brutality is been taking place for over half a century. Palestinians, Muslims have been dispossessed from their lands. Their water is being taken away from them. Their food is being taken away from them. Their shelter is being taken away from them. Their land, their ancestries and descendants and grandparents and forefathers been living there for years and centuries had been taken away from them. And the moment they utter with a word, they are pointed out with the fingers and said, they are terrorists. Terrorists, yes. When a Muslim wants to defend his land, he is a terrorist. When a Muslim wants to protect his family, he is a terrorist. When a Muslim wants to defend his country, he is a terrorist. But for the Israelis and the Zionists to come and enter this land and take over this land and kill its people, lock up its men, kill its children, block them from their own land, they are considered to be just and peaceful people, democratic people who want to defend themselves. This is what they want. And this is the biased media that we see every single day. Always portraying that Muslims are terrorists. 
Muslims are terrorists, no matter what they do, no matter what they ask for, even if they are they are terrorists. But the Israelis and the Zionists, that every single night for the last few nights, showering the Muslims in Gaza with bombs and grenades and rocks, they are considered to be, they have the right, as Obama said, they have the right to defend themselves. Where is the justice? Is that the democracy that people are calling for? The peace that people are calling for? The justice that people are calling for? And where is the Muslim Ummah? 54 nations. 54 Muslim countries. 54 Muslim countries! Where are they? They've been bought, yes. They've been bought by the Zionists a long time ago. And where were the merchants? We were that purchase and sale, they sold us out. What happened to Abdul Hamid? Sultan Abdul Hamid the 32, he said, By Allah, if you chop me every, into every single piece, Wallahi, I would never give up an inch of Palestine. What happened to these people? Allah knows better what's been taking place behind the scenes. My brothers and my sisters, my brothers and my sisters, What's important for us to know that we need to be attached to this case. We need to be attached to them no matter where we are. We need to show solidarity and sympathy to what's happening. Not just saying, Wallahi, I love Palestine. But number one thing that you need to do is to be aware of this case. You need to educate yourself. You need to be attached to it. As Brother Muhammad mentioned, one of the things I used to ask the brothers when we used to send them to Palestine, what are you coming here for? You came all the way from Australia, Sydney. What did you come here for? What do you have in Jerusalem? What do you want from the Aqsa? Go back home. That I want you to be attached to this place. That I want you to be attached to the third most sacred place to the Muslims. That I want you to be attached to the first Qibla of the Muslims and the first Qibla of the Prophets and the Messengers. But we say it out loud and we say it out proud that we're going to continue to be attached and our children are going to continue to be attached until Allah gives us what belongs to us. Until Allah gives us what belongs to us. What belongs to us? Palestine. Yes. Palestine belongs to the Muslims, not the Jews. The Jews are more than happy to come and live there, but it doesn't belong to them. It does not belong to them. Of the Zionist Israeli regime, Bithnillah. This is, inshallah, the beginning of the end of this regime. This regime had taken its comfort and relaxation in the middle and the heart of the Muslim world over one of the main sacred places of the Muslims taking its comfort and taking its relaxation when it had bought all when it had bought out all those Muslim leaders that claim Islam but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted something else. Allah Azza wa Jal wants something else. As even some of the Muslim leaders right now said, the ones who came after the Arab Spring, they said no. We tell Israel that the situation with Gaza now is different than four years ago. It's different than four years ago. Four years ago, you had bought all the Muslim leaders, but now there might be some Muslim leaders who fear Allah, I want this land back. Amen. Yes, the situation is different. And it's different to us, inshallah. Because we are attached to this. And your presence tonight is a great message to the entire world. And on the top of that list is the Israeli regime. To tell them that we are still around. We are still awake. We haven't slept and we have not forgotten and we we'll never neglect. We are still attached to this. We are still attached to Al-Aqsa. We are still attached to Palestine. We are still attached to the people of Gaza. We are still attached to Islam. We are still attached to La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. And we are attached to everyone who says La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. We are still attached my brothers and sisters. That's why my brothers and sisters, it's important for us to be aware of this. Then just go home and say, Wallahi, it was a nice lecture, takbir, Allahu Akbar. What's next? What's next in your life? What's next about this matter? Are you going to go home and sleep and forget about it? Exactly what our enemies want? Or are you going to continue to learn and know about it? And tell the people the truth about this matter. Let the people know the truth of this matter. Let people know who are the true terrorists. Let people know who are the true criminals. Let people know who Israel is. Let people know the reality. But if we're asleep about it, then who would care? 
my brothers and my sisters, we need to constantly be attached to this matter and never forget and never let go. Never let go of a matter that's part of us and part of our creed and part of our aqeedah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even mentioned this place in the Quran al-Kareem. When Allah azza wa jal sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a night journey, Allah could have took him straight from Mecca to the heavens. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to take Muhammad via Jerusalem. Why? To tell you. To tell you, yes, you. To tell you how important this place is to you. How important Palestine is, but the time will come, insha'Allah. The time will come, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching. And in a moment, in a moment that people think, and especially Israel and its allies think, that the Palestinians are left alone, they are not left alone. They have seen see brothers and sisters like you, Sophie, in Australia, and all around the world who stand beside them, think of them, sympathize with them, and before all that, they've got Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with them. They have Allah azza wa jal. But Allah works in mysterious ways. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala works in mysterious ways. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to show everyone that there are people of this ummah are willing to give and sacrifice their lives for the sake of Islam, for the sake of Palestine. And this is what we see. We see, we see Muslims are willing to sacrifice whatever they've got for the sake of this land. My brothers and my sisters, don't go home and forget about this. Don't go home and forget about this. But this is an amana, a trust, a trust around the neck of every single one of us that we continue to remember this. We continue to remember Palestine and our kids to remember Palestine and the children of our children to remember Palestine until they enter Palestine when it's under the Muslim state, inshallah. That's the time. That's why, my brothers, I do encourage you we want to take a next step, inshallah. We want to take a next step further. And that's why the next following Mondays, every Monday here after Salat al-Isha, we will be talking about the history of Palestine. We want, to learn, we want to learn about it. We want to educate ourselves so we could be attached to it. That's why my brothers, inshallah, from next Monday to the next, inshallah, two months, we want to talk about Palestine and we're going to continue talking about Palestine and nothing will stop us talking about Palestine until the time Allah Azza wa Jalla takes us away from this dunya. It's our land. It's our property. It is our creed. It is the Qibla of the Muslims. It is Al-Aqsa. It's ours. And it belongs to us. It does not belong to the Jews. And it does not belong to the Israelis. It belongs to this Ummah. It belongs to the Muslims. But this Ummah needs to wake up. We need to wake up. We need to be vigilant and aware. We need to know. We need to educate ourselves. That's why my brothers, inshallah, keep this in your mind. And also, we want to collect, inshallah, donations. We want to collect donations to support those needy brothers and sisters in Gaza. And inshallah, the money will be sent through the right and legal avenues. We want to collect money for them. This is the minimum that we should be doing. In a moment that we are sleeping in comfortable houses and shelters and comfortable beds and eating nice food, these people have been sheltered with what? With bombs and raped with grains. We should at least have some sympathy in our hearts and give what we can for the sake of Allah. You have brothers outside, you have sisters upstairs collecting money for the God, for the people of Gaza. They need your support. They are calling upon Allah, say, Ya Rab. There is no one else for us except you and our brothers and sisters in Australia and everywhere around the world. Give what you can for the sake of Allah. Donate, be generous, then be selfish. And this is a sign to see how much you really care about this case. And inshallah, ikhwani, we're going to pray Salat al-Janazah, Ghaib and the absent Janazah prayer upon the dead brothers and sisters who died in the last few days in Gaza. So I want you all to get up, inshallah, and after that, inshallah, we're going to have a dua from Sheikh Abu'ad. Jazakumullah khair.